What's going on on my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with another monthly haul video. The month of July has come to a close, so that means it's time for me to share all of the movies that I picked up throughout the month of July. So let's get started. So, if you're just watching this video and you only see that I picked up a slim amount of movies, three to be exact, that's not entirely true because I also took advantage of the Barnes & Noble Criterion 50% off sale and I filmed a separate video. For that, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can watch that video and see all the Criterion releases that I picked up. I figured the Criterion sale is something a lot of film fans love and I decided to make a separate video for that. And so this haul video is for the other releases that I picked up in the month of July. Definitely share what you picked up down in the comments below. What Blu-rays, what DVDs, what Funko Pops or whatever nerdy things that you picked up in the month of July. And without further ado, let's get started with this haul video. First off is the Post. Uh, this is a more recent film from Steven Spielberg, starring Meryl Streep, Tom Hanks, and Bob Odenkirk. This is a, based on a true story about uh, one of the, oh yeah, the Washington Post, uh, who uh, go on a, they have like a battle against uh, the government over uh, the Pentagon Papers, uh, this series of papers that uh, was like a cover-up on the Vietnam War and stuff like that. Uh, this is a movie I thought that was very interesting when I saw it in theaters. Obviously, I bought it not only because I enjoyed the film when I, it came out, but obviously this is... I think I saw, it was very cheap when I bought it at Walmart. I think it was under 10 bucks or five. I think, yeah, I think it was under 10 bucks. And obviously, also, I bought the film because I've been doing a Steven Spielberg series on my channel. I didn't own the post prior. So this is a good time to pick up the post. I'm excited to revisit this film very, very soon when I get to it in my Spielberg series. Because I thought it was a pretty solid film. Next up is Wonder. Uh, this is a family drama. It stars Julia Roberts, Owen Wilson, and Jacob Tremblay. And uh, the movie uh, is about this boy Augie that had he had a lot of surgeries done, so he has a lot of scars on his face, and he oftentimes get uh, bullied in high and uh, not in high school. He often gets bullied in school because of that, and so the movie just follows his journey, and you get to see a self discovery type story. Augie trying to feel better about himself and the people that. He, and the people that support him along the way. And I thought this was a pretty touching movie. I thought this would be like this average family film, but it actually does tug at the heartstrings at times, and it is very enjoyable because of that. And even Owen Wilson gives a good supporting performance in this film, considering people make fun of him a lot for his wow. But he's really good in the film. So this is a movie that I did highly enjoy. I'll probably do a Jake's Picks video of it eventually down the line. But this is a really good film that was a pleasant surprise when I saw it in theaters. And finally, Hacksaw Ridge, which I've said on my channel before. This is my favorite war film that I've ever seen. I loved the story of Desmond Doss, which... I might be a little biased because of that, because Desmond Doss grew up in Lynchburg, Virginia, which is about a half hour away from where I live, so I kind of like supporting my local history pretty much, but this is an incredible story about a um, man who gets drafted into World War II, but he's a pacifist, he refuses to fight because of his religious beliefs, but... He becomes a medic in the war, and he becomes a hero at the battle at Hacksaw Ridge. And I thought this was an incredible film, directed by Mel Gibson, who's directed incredible movies that not too many people give him credit for. Like, this is a great film, Passion of the Christ, he directed Braveheart. Mel Gibson's just as good behind the camera as he is on camera. 
And I think this is a fantastic film. Andrew Garfield gives one of his best performances that I've ever seen. And even somebody like Vince Vaughn is highly enjoyable in this film. This is a movie that's probably one of the more violent war films that I've ever seen, but it's also an incredible true story that's done so well on film. Uh, Hacksaw Ridge, I think, probably does the best job of any war film that shows uh, the brutalities of war, but also telling a very heroic, inspiring story at the same time. And it's a movie that deeply moved me when I saw it in theaters, so... Finally got to pick up Hacksaw Ridge. I think it might have been five bucks at Walmart when I was shopping, and it's a fantastic film. If you hadn't seen this film, what are you doing? Check this movie out. It's fantastic. So that wraps up my monthly haul video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, I'll leave a link in the description below for my Criterion haul, where you can see all the Criterion films that I picked up during the 50% off sale at Barnes & Noble this past month. I hope you enjoyed this video and share in the comments below what movies you picked up, whether it's regular releases or Criterions or whatever. Share your hauls down in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button to see more content and the notification bell next to it to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, besides haul videos, I also do movie reviews, TV reviews, and other fun stuff along the way. I have some more videos planned for you soon. Hope you all have an amazing day. God bless, and I will see you next time. Goodbye!